All right, welcome back. This is part two of class on Monday regarding two and three step conversions using molar mass. Uh, we're going to do some three step conversions here. So let me share my screen. three-step conversions. All right, in this example here, we're gonna go, we're gonna convert from mass to small particles. Okay. So in this case, the question we have is, the question we have is, how many Hydroxides ions. Okay, these are polyatomic ions. Hydroxides are in fifty three point four grams of barium hydroxide. And here is the Hydroxide is a minus one, therefore we need two of them. And again, this 53.4 here is a given value. Right? You're given that it's 53.4 grams of barium hydroxide. So then also we need to think about what do we know? What's known? Okay. Well, we know. That one mole of barium hydroxide is equal to six point zero two two times ten to the twenty third, right? Compounds or particles. All right. Of BA barium hydroxide. Okay. We also know that one mole of barium hydroxide is equal to 171.35 grams of barium hydroxide. Okay. How do we know that, right? So barium, molecular mass of barium is 137.33. And then we know our oxygen, we have two of those. That's another 32, because 16 times 2 is 32. And then we have two hydrogens. And that's 2.02. .02. So that's our oxygen and our hydrogens, right? So you add all those together, we have 171.35 grams per mole. Okay. 
We also know that one compound of barium hydroxide is equal to two ions of hydroxide. Okay. Because one compound is composed of two hydroxide polyatomic ions, right? So how do we how do we graphically think about this? Okay. So let's take a look at a little cartoon of that barium hydroxide molecule, right? So how do we do that? So you think about it. We have one barium atom. That's two plus. And then we have two. Hydroxide. Okay, so one compound of barium hydroxide equal to two OH ions. Okay. So now let's work through the calculation itself, okay? So again, we're gonna go from mass to moles to particles, I'm gonna say large particles, to small particles. So we set up our dimensional analysis for it here. I'm going to kind of line up each step, right? So mass, right? We're given our mass up here, right? It's 53.4 grams of barium hydroxide, right? So we have 53.4 grams of barium hydroxide. Right. Now moles. Right here we're going to go from mass to moles. So we're going to use our molar mass of barium hydroxide. It's grams per mole. And here we have one hundred and seventy-one point three five grams of barium hydroxide for one mole. Now in this box here, we're gonna convert moles to large particles, right? We know that one mole of barium hydroxide, right? From up here, we know that one mole of barium hydroxide is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. I've got this number, right? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd compounds. Of barium hydroxide. Okay, compounds here is what we're going to call a large particle. Okay, but then we also know, right, that one compound of barium hydroxide, right, has two hydroxide ions. In it. Okay. That's what we learned up here, right? One compound of barium hydroxide is two ions of hydroxide. So now that we set up our equation, right? Let's check our units, right? Because we want we're trying to calculate the number of particles, small particles, in this case ions. So we can cancel our grams, right? Grams, grams, we cancel moles. And we can cancel these large particles or our compounds, and that leaves us with ions, right? And that's what we're trying to figure out the answer to small particles. So, how many hydroxide ions? How many hydroxide ions are in 53.4 grams of barium hydroxide? Okay. So, 
we take 53.4 divided by 171.35, we multiply that by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, and then we multiply that by two. So what does that give us? That equals 3.753426 times 10 to the 23rd, OH ions, 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 right? But now we have to worry about six figs, right? And so if we look up here, we have three six figs from our given value, right? The rest of these are basically constants of infinite, of infinite, of infinite six figs. So if we only have three six figs, we have to rewrite our final answer is 3.75, times 10 to the 23rd hydroxide ions. That's three-step conversion. Did I not record this? 